Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Today, I'm here with the Dream. It is Dream. I saw people that were from a video game. Okay, the video game was called Creed. I don't know if it's a real video game called Creed. I'm going to say, you know what I'm saying, it don't have nothing to do with that game. This is not in any shape, form, or fashion to come against the game or nothing like that. Anywho, with that being said, it, it is dream. These people stopped eating and they stopped drinking. And it's kind of like, it's almost like they were living inside of the video game. And, you know, as I'm thinking about it, like as I'm going over this, because I had this dream a while ago, it kind of gives me, it reminds me of, you know, the virtual life type games where, uh, virtual reality type games where it's like you feel like you are living a life that you're not. And it's like these people, they were so, how do I say it? Like they were so deep into this game that they they felt like that was their real life and they weren't eating anymore. They weren't drinking any water. They were not taking care of themselves. And they were at an emergency care center and they were receiving emergency care and getting medical checks from paramedics. And, um... While they're there, they start speaking about other people that were also in the games with them that have lost their minds. And, you know, they feel kind of crazy. And uh, I just feel like this is uh, about virtual reality. You know what I'm saying? Um, of how, you know, if someone decides that they are going to live in a virtual reality and they they spend more time playing the game that of life you know like of how the virtual game you know you could go to a park you could go to a club you go out to eat go on vacation all these things if you like are so invoked in that and like I, that's what i feel like it is okay anywho the scripture calls for revelation Seven and eight. Of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. After these things I saw, and behold, a great multitude which no one was able to number. Out of all nations and tribes and peoples and tongues standing before the throne and before the Lamb, having been clothed in white ro and bright robes and palms in their hands, and crying with a great voice, saying, Salvation to our God, the one sitting on the throne, and to the Lamb. Okay. <clears throat> Baby. Okay, here's the message. God say, some people are so focused on this reality that we live in. Some people are so focused on the material world that we live in that they don't realize that we only here temporarily and there's a future. There's somewhere, you know, we, the heaven, okay? There, there's, it's more to life than just being so involved and so involved in the life that we have. There are people that go about their days and they don't eat. Okay. And what am I talking about? They don't receive the word of God. They don't drink. They don't know Christ. They, they just go about their days and they live their life, um, kind of in this virtual reality type vibe. And when it come down to it, when it's time for them to take their last breath, they come to realize that they spent their life and it was wasted. It was wasted. I see why my voice, like, my voice under the take with this, but they wasted their life trying. They think that life is only about what's here. And they don't realize that it's a whole, it's so much more. Like, we have all eternity to be in heaven. And heaven is a world on its own. And it's so beautiful. And you know what I'm saying? Confirmation. It's a world on its own. It's so beautiful. 
what a what a what a pity and what a shame to spend all of your time on this here earth trying to get all of the best things that you can get here on this here earth and then get to heaven and be rejected. You know what I'm saying? They have to spend all eternity in hell being tormented because of all the ridiculous things or whatever evil, wicked things that you had to do in order to get the things that you wanted on earth. It's okay that I have everything perfect. You know what I'm saying? It's okay that I live in the biggest house. It's okay that I have all these best the connections and you know what I'm saying? You got all the friends and all your friends got connections and y'all got all the cute pictures and y'all going to all the top parties and y'all got all these, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got the best husbands and da da da. You know what I'm saying? Y'all Yo, you know what I'm saying, but all the all, all, all in reality, husband on DL, and you know what I'm saying, he got all other kind of stuff going on. Y'all can have it. I, 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 I'm gonna be real. Y'all can have it, but I, I just feel like you know what I'm saying. God is saying that people are gonna start waking up, and they are going to start realizing that it's really more to life than what this virtue you know what i'm saying this world is showing us what this world offers us what this world is giving us it's more to life than that um a lot of people get so caught up in the physical that they fail to realize that we are actually spiritual beings we live on forever and we are intended to live on in heaven with god but if we uh if we insist, you know what I'm saying? People that insist on living their life, doing whatever they want to do, behaving the way they want to behave, acting a fool on earth, you know what I'm saying? They they, 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 they not going to get to see it. And that's just the truth of it. That's the truth of it. But God said he want all his children with him in heaven, clothed in white robes, and to realize that he is the truth, the light. He is the truth. He is the light. He is the way. God wants us to be with him. God wants us to be with Jesus Christ. Like, like you know what I'm saying? I, I, I just feel like, and that's the message. Like, and I don't know who this is for, but God is leading me to say, don't you want to see it? Don't you want to be there? Would you prefer to just have the all, all the things that you have on this earth? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it, it's cool to be, you know, to be wealthy on earth and, you know, to have nice things, have a nice house, have nice cars, have clothes and all this money and all that. But when it comes down to it, you know what I'm saying, is it worth it to, to trade all eternity in heaven for a few years on earth of happiness? You know what I'm saying? Ah, see, just all, oh, see, just all. Oh, but that's the message, y'all. That's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.